Hey everyone, today we're going to have a little bit of a different video. Uh, so usually on my channel I cover machine learning videos, data science videos, but I actually uh, was originally trained as a biochemist um, and really am interested in biotechnology. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit different, uh, but I want to talk about this because really I'm interested in all things about the future, uh, thinking about what's going to be important, what kind of things are going to be influential, what's going to change the way that we live, what's going to change the way that we interact with the world. Uh, and I think that this is a really important one uh, because of the, just the amount of uh, neurological disorders, so Alzheimer's, dementia, um, MS, ALS, uh, traumatic brain injury. So th there's a lot of... Um, evidence and, and medicine um, that seems that that this is I think going to be a really important concept and, and field and specifically this idea of neurofilament light as a biomarker um, and so um, this is a, a paper and this is a, a review paper that I think I've seen a while um, and kind of there's there's uh, essentially a lot of, of companies that are doing all sorts of indications from MS to ALS um, AMD to just everything that would, would deal with the, the neurological disorders um, and actually, there's a pretty good uh, figure over here um, that that they're finding out that this that d uh, despite you know a wide range of different neurological disorders, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, um, they're able to actually identify that there's a significant increase in this ALS biomarker, um, and so this kind of is associated with traumatic or with with actual uh, brain injury, um, and it, it, mechanistically it kind of makes sense. So if you're familiar with the way that neurons work, um, so neurons are kind of communicative cells that they, they, they stretch between each other using these axons. Um, and so axon within these axons, they're made up of these neurofilaments. Um, neurofilaments have different uh, chains. So there's neurofilament light, neurofilament medium, neurofilament heavy. Um, and so the, this, as this actually neuron degrades, it actually releases this neurofilament light. Um, and so you can me measure this. Um, and the idea is that a lot of people, and this is kind of the holy grail, if we can find essentially something that is preventing the loss of, of NFL or preventing us from seeing NFL, if we can use that as a biomarker, um, then we kind of have a pretty good idea of what would be a really uh, good drug or what could be a really promising drug for preventing brain injury. Because again, um, this is it literally, it's literally just a sign. If a neuron degrades, the NFL is going to be there. Um, so it's really, if you think about it from that concept, it's a really interesting biomarker. Um, there are a couple of issues with it, though. Obviously, it's not that easy. Um, one issue is that it kind of is in both the serum and the uh, cerebral spinal fluid. Um, and so just measuring them, they're, they're very kind of different. Um, the sensitivity is all over the place. It's it, there, there's high intervariable. So when you do like a trial, it's it's very difficult to uh, compare to what would be a normalized patient. Um, it's just very difficult. And 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 so uh, this is really important to, to keep in mind. Um, and the other thing is it's just a so such a broad biomarker. So familiar with uh, things like cytokines or like you know just non non specific inflammatory autoimmune markers um, I, like interleukins. There's just all sorts of stuff that that is you know associated with all different kinds of cancer um, or is associated with you know what whatever some immune disorders, uh, but it's just very difficult to actually ascertain you know um, because it's so broad and ubiquitous. Because any time that a neuron dies, it, it releases. Um, it's very difficult to look at that. Um, so I'm following a lot of this. I think this is going to be really exciting. Any kinds of innovations from. Um, any significant reductions or any different ways to measure this in the serum or the blood um, is going to be really important. And so, um, and, and, and anything, yeah, I think anything that uh, has some noticeable NFL activity, activity is probably going to be pretty interesting. But again, it's like super broad and, and it's really hard to just say um, it's, you can't necessarily look at, you know, a specific marker. You can't, you can't be sure that it's from a specific source. Um, so a lot of work to, needs to be done, but I'm really excited about looking at this. And I think this is going to be a really uh, common biomarker in the future. So looking forward to seeing that. Uh, let me know if you like this sort of different video, if you're into the biology um, videos. Um, again, I'm interested in all things that I think are going to be important in the future. So that's the channel, the, the direction I kind of want to take the channel. Thanks. Enjoyed.